Abdi Abdirahman has been one of the best distance runners in the United States for over two decades now. On November 6th, he'll race the New York City Marathon, an event in which he's earned six top 10 finishes. And while he's not retiring quite yet, this might be his last run through the five boroughs. I recently spoke with the five-time Olympian to learn the secrets to his longevity, why he loves New York City, and his favorite races from his storied career. We first made your Olympic team in 2000, all the way to 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Like, how have you been able to maintain your consistency over such a long period of time? Find something you love to do and you never work a day in your life. So for me, I love running and something and I'm still passionate about it. I'm still love doing it. And, you know, like in my career, I have faced challenges, injuries, you know, setbacks. I remember the people started calling me old in my early 30s. The one thing that keep me motivated and keep me coming back and still competing at high level is just a believe in myself and I still can do it. I'm interested to hear just like how the New York community has impacted your running career and um, what the marathon in New York City means to you. New York is a big part of my career, to be honest. It was my first professional marathon, I remember, in 2004. And I think just it fits my running style, just the hills, the bridges. Like a New York half marathon, I have finished second to Haile Gebre Salas. I dueled it up with him in 2007. Uh, like in Central Park, I remember we came through the 10K at 28.15. Uh, Me and him just, you know, finished second to him. That's one of my best performers. Also, you know, finishing third at the New York City Marathon, finishing fifth, you know, sixth. I competed hard. And that's what always built for me. Like people say, oh, you're the first American. But that wasn't my goal. For me was to compete. And also, you know, making the Olympic team at the age of 43 year old, while no one believed that me, oh, Abdi is just here to finish the race or, you know, just see if he can finish top 20. You've been training at a high level for a long time. So for you, getting back to that like race zone just requires a little sharpening because you have that foundation underneath you. If you build the house without foundation, the house will never last, it will just break down. I just built that foundation of running through my all those years from my 20s to my late 30s to now to my 40s and still standing strong. I just listen to my body if I feel like I'm getting injured or something's nagging me instead of just to keep keep like running through it. What I do is, you know, just I say, hey, do I want to take like a two, three days off or do I want to face two to three months of sideline, you know, just which one do I want to take? So for me, so the best part is I will take the two, three days. Does your recovery process change at all? I don't know how long my career will have been if I didn't have all this stuff now. When I finish my run, I'm rolling, I'm doing the gun massage. You're not saying you're retiring yet. You're still like going to try to compete as much as you can. I'm not retired. At 45, I just signed a three year contract with A6. You know, they give me an opportunity to compete as long as I want to do whatever I want to do. And for them, I want to give them at least two years of a good competition of my side. For me, I just am motivated for the love of the sports, to be honest. I just love it and I'm competing. And this might be my last New York Marathon. It's, it's not going to be my last marathon. I had a goal to run the World Six Major. I haven't run them yet. And I'm expecting to compete at a high level as long as I can. Don't miss Abdi on the streets of the Big Apple. And be sure to check out runnersworld.com for all the New York City Marathon coverage you need.